guys, it's Tamara Kilsarek, one of the coaches at Social Media College. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Instagram story ads within the Facebook ads manager. Now, if you looked at one of my previous videos, which I have done, which is called how to run Instagram ads in the Facebook ads manager, you might find some of these steps are quite repetitive. But if you haven't seen that video and you want to run Instagram story ads, then keep watching. So the trick to Instagram story ads. Now, Instagram story ads are simply a placement within the Facebook ads manager. So when you go to place an ad on Instagram, you would go into your ads manager. And when you go to set up your campaign, you would just need to select the story placement um, when you go to select your placements. So I'm gonna take you through a bit of a walkthrough and show you how to do that. Um, but that's just something you know useful to know that a story ad is simply a placement. Now, before we start, a couple of things that you need to pre-prepare before you start building your ads in the ads manager. So one of them is obviously uh, whether you want to connect your Instagram account to your business manager. Now, you don't have to do this, um, but you can actually connect the Instagram account uh, to that and Facebook will ensure that all the data from the account is kept in the business manager. But if you don't connect it, and in the example that we have here, it's not, um, Facebook will still run the ad on an Instagram page using the name and the icon that your Facebook page um, uses. So that's gonna keep that consistency there. The other thing you need to pre-prepare is your, your ad assets. So what's the copy gonna say? Um, what's the imagery? Are you gonna use an image or a video or what? So have all that pre-prepared. I've got that in a folder um, somewhere down here and I'll dig those out when it's time to use those. Um, and the other thing we need to think about is the marketing objective. So when you run any ad, you really need to think about what's the marketing objective for this campaign. So do you want people to engage with your you know, your ad or do you want them to watch a video? Do you want it to be video views? Um, I'll go through all the objectives um, shortly, but that's just something to have pre-prepared, ready to go, just so that it makes building the actual ad a lot faster. So here we are, we're in our faux um, account called the Social Cafe. We are a social cafe in Sydney, bricks and mortar store, um, and we're gonna run some ads. So the best way to do this is to head up in the top corner, left-hand side, that little hamburger there. Uh, we're gonna select that, and you'll find Ads Manager. If not here in the Frequently Used, you'll drop down and open the toolbar up. And you'll see it in the second column here called Ads Manager under Create and Manage. Okay, great. So this is where you're going to build your campaign. So even if you're going to run one ad, you need to set up a campaign, set up an ad set, and then place your ad there. So we will start by in the Campaigns tab, selecting the Create button. That's going to create our campaign. And here we are, marketing objective. So this is what I spoke about earlier. So have you thought about what the objective to your ad is going to be? So for mine, it's a free coffee offer. I want people to come down to my store. Um, I'm offering a free coffee offer. We're a new cafe in Sydney. So for me, I'm going to select brand awareness. You might run a video in your Instagram story. Instagram stories are brilliant for videos. Um, and if that's the case, you might wanna select video views. If you want traffic, then you select traffic. Um, if you're promoting um, like a dress and you want someone to buy, you might have a conversions campaign. But for, the, for this example, I'm gonna select brand awareness and we're gonna scroll down and we need to give our campaign a name. Not going to call it brand awareness because after my fifth campaign, all of my campaigns are gonna be called the same thing. So I really wanna give it a name so that when I'm looking later in my ads manager, I can see what campaign is related to what offer. And so I'm gonna call this my free coffee offer. And in brackets, I'm just gonna write stories because for this particular ad, um, it's only going to have a stories placement. So I'm going to uh, put stories in brackets so that I know that for that campaign, it's just for Facebook, um, Instagram stories. So we're going to leave the creative split test off, the campaign budget optimization button off and hit continue. And here we get to the ad set. So ad set is where we set up the audience. 
we'll set up the placements, we'll set up the budget and the schedule. So we are going to give our ad set a name. So this is our audience. I'm a cafe in Sydney. Um, the ad I'm going to send out is going to go out to the general area. I'm not going to target interest. I'm just going to target the general area. So I'm going to call it local Sydney area. Now, because my ad audience is going to be geographical, I'm not going to address this custom audience. This is for when we have customer data um, or you know pre-populated data. I'm going to focus here on the location section. So Australia for me is a little bit big on my budget as a cafe. You know, posting an ad in Brisbane, no one's going to come for their free coffee. They're not that keen on my coffee. So we're going to select Sydney and I'm just going to reduce it because I'm a cafe and people aren't going to drive over 100k to see my cafe. And I am going to set an audience for 25 to let's go to 50 year olds. And it's going to keep it all men and women because everybody loves coffee. I'm not going to overlay any interests or behaviors and not going to worry about the connection type. And I'm not going to save the audience. It's quite generic. This is where we actually address the stories element. So by default, Facebook is going to select automatic placements for you. And you'll see it says that it's recommended. And that's because Facebook can select different placements based on where they think it's going to perform better. But if you have an ad, and if you think about the size of the Instagram story, um, that ad is really specific in terms of size. And so all we know that all we want is the Instagram stories placement. So we're going to select edit placements. And as you can see, this, all these options have now opened up to us. Now, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually advertise not just on Facebook and Instagram, but they have what they call the audience network. And that's a, a range of um, a range of placements across various websites and apps. And together they call that the audience network, kind of like the Google ad network, but Facebook has their own. And also on Messenger. And so Messenger has its own placement. So what we're going to do is we're going to unselect all of these boxes. We're going to leave the Instagram box ticked. And you'll see that as I was unclicking those boxes, all the boxes down here started to unclick. And the only ones left are the Instagram feed, Instagram explore, and Instagram stories. Now, if we go back up here, right? Instagram feed, Instagram explore. See the sizes of those images? Really different to if we went stories. And for this particular example, I've created, and I'm just gonna give you a bit of a preview. I've actually created my ad to size. So it's going to be that portrait size. So as much as I may want to select, you know, the feed and the explore, my image size is that portrait size. So I'm going to actually deselect these two and I'm only going to run this ad on Instagram stories. And so that's the only box selected. And we're going to leave all of that as is. We're going to only select Instagram stories. And now we have to set our budget and our schedule. I'm a little cafe, so my daily budget, I'm gonna keep on $5 a day because my placement is only Instagram stories. So $5 a day is actually gonna get me quite a lot. It's going to get me, look at that, 1.2 thousand to 3.3 thousand in reach per day on $5. That's pretty good. Then we're going to come down here and you can select the schedule, which is either run my ad continuously every day until I go in and select stop, which is what this one this means, or I can set a start date and an end date. I might want it to start on Wednesday and finish on Friday. And that's what that option is all about. So we're gonna keep it at $5. We're going to just let it run continuously. And you're charged by the number of impressions. And we'll leave that delivery type as standard and we'll hit continue. Now we're at the ad level. This is where we actually create the ad. And so we'll have to give our ad a name, which is free coffee offer. Again, we're gonna put it stories. And that's because I have other ads running called free coffee offer. 
but when they're all listed in the ads manager, I want to, sh I want to see that the stories one is different. So if I ever want to open the stories one, I can see that it's the different placement and it's a different size and the ad looks a little bit different. So I'm just going to make sure that I differentiate the names of my ads. Then we, we get to the identity part. Now, remember I said at the beginning, you can make a choice whether you want to connect your Instagram account to your business manager or connect it to your Facebook page. So in this example, we have not done that. And so when it comes to Instagram account, you can drop down, click this drop down box and you'll see that there's no page there. Now, if I had connected our Instagram page to this account, there would be an option there for me to select the Social Cafe Instagram account, but there's not. But that doesn't mean you can't run ads on stories. So if you either don't have an Instagram account and you still want to run ads on stories, you can. Or you might not have connected it. And that's so many reasons why you may not want to connect it. And if that's the case, you can just select use selected page. And what Facebook will do is it will create an identity, i.e. it'll look like it's a it's a stories post from using the, the name and the icon from the Facebook page that is connected to this business manager. So we're going to select that. And then we're going to select single image or video because you would have noticed that that ad that I created was an image. And we're going to come down here and you'll see that it all, like it will connect to my Facebook page and pre-select an image. So we'll just select change image. And we're going to upload our image. Because my ad is just one image. But there's so many varieties, like you could run an, an image, a carousel, a video, so many different options. There we go. That just has a little caution on it. And that's just, so don't, that won't affect the ad that we're creating, right? That's just saying if I use this image in other ads, this is actually where all images for my account are held. So it's just saying if I use it in other ads, then it might not work. So we're going to upload that, select it. Now, here's the thing. It says two placements are using this image. Here we go. Okay, at this time, this image will be displayed for Instagram feed and stories. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump back. Just wanna make sure that we haven't, aha, here we go, okay. I must not have deselected that. So see how you can always jump back, even though we're at the ad level, you can actually jump back to the ad set level. You can actually come back up here. That's the great thing about this. So as you go through, just read the little um, notes that Facebook give you. So we're gonna jump back down here. And I think that's gonna change for us now, which will be, here we go. It's only Instagram stories, brilliant. So that's our image. and. Facebook now has some really great editing tools. So you might not have created a video, but you want to, you can actually turn this into a video. There's a little video editor in there that um, you can use to, to create a video if you wanted. And we're gonna scroll down here. And now see what I mean when I said earlier about the identity? We don't have our Instagram account connected here, but it's created one for us. And it uses the name and the icon from the Facebook page that we had, which is brilliant. And then we're going to find, hmm, where did I save? Hmm, where did I save our copy? Well, here's the thing. Okay, so you'll see I've put copy on the ad already, but we can also add copy. So we can say head on down to the social cafe and it will get added to the ad because it's a story, we're going to actually leave it off. Because what it will do is when it displays, it'll put that it'll put that text that you would normally type on your phone. But I would highly recommend you actually put all of your ad copy on the image, on the video, and all you do is upload the asset. So you're not adding extra text here. And you can add a website URL. And that's how you would do that. You would enter your website here. cafe.com. Now, just because this is a faux website, I'm actually just going to delete that because we don't have a, a URL, but you don't have to. And then you can also edit the colors of the background. So this is really only going to apply if we had an image 
that wasn't to the right, um, that didn't fill the size. So if we had um, a square image, which we would normally put in an Instagram newsfeed, we can actually edit the background that would fill the rest of that space. But because we've actually uploaded the ad as we wanted it, this provides a nice little view as to what our ad's going to look like, which I think is pretty good. So we're going to scroll down. Now you want to turn your Facebook pixel on. Um, once you activate your pixel or in your business manager, that will actually automatically turn on for you. So just as a bit of housekeeping, just always check that it's on. When I click that, that's going to tell me that it's not working. So don't worry about that. Um, but always, always track things with your pixel. You just want to be collecting data all the time. And then we're going to hit confirm. Just give it a bit of time to process. It just needs to obviously process the campaign level, the ad set level and the ad level. And there you have it. So it's now going to sit in review for a little bit until Facebook gets a chance to review it. That, should, that can take anywhere from 10 minutes. I've had it sit there for more than 24 hours. Um, it really does depend. So make sure that you pre-prepare your ads, you get them ready to go um, so it can go through the approvals process. But once it's here and once it gets through the review stage, Facebook will make it live once they're happy with it and you're good to go. So I hope this answers all your questions about how you can create an Instagram stories ad. And if you liked these tips or you're looking for any other tips when it comes to social media marketing, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hints, tips, and how-to guides.